did not stand the test of time. Summer's over, Lauren. Quick story time. Support when it comes to holding up my pants. Hey guys, and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lauren, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys everything I picked up in the month of October. This is a combination of thrifted items as well as stuff that I bought in stores, so if that sounds good to you, let's get into what I bought. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys today is a wide belt. This is probably two inches wide. It just fits all of my belt loops on my jeans. And this is something I've been looking for for a really long time. I picked this up at Crossroads and I've been looking for a wide black genuine leather belt with a gold hardware. I had a belt that was like super wide like this a while ago, it was from Express, and it was my favorite belt. It had a million holes in it, so you could make it whatever size you wanted, but it wasn't real leather, so it just disintegrated, it ripped apart, it just did not stand the test of time because I wore it every single day. So this one is genuine leather, it was originally from The Loft, it's a size extra small and it's just really great for my waist. And then if I need to, I can also wear it at my hip on the, um, the last hole. This is really great. I love the gold hardware. I love the little braided detail here. And it's just perfect for any time I want to cinch my waist, whether it's with a dress or have a little bit more support when I'm wearing a pair of jeans. Because sometimes with a skinnier belt, it doesn't really do as much. So this way I have a little more support when it comes to holding up my pants, which is always nice. I believe this was $18, which feels a little bit nutty, but... Honestly, like I said, if it, I had found it in a regular store or in a thrift store, I would have bought it and $20 is uh, fine for me because this is a piece that I wanted to have in genuine leather and be an investment. So next I have a pair of shoes and the first pair are these boots. They, I picked them up on Poshmark. They were originally from ASOS and they're size nine and they're real leather and they just have like a kind of like square almondy toe. Um, I had a pair of boots like this from Forever 21, uh, God, two years ago, three years ago. And I wore them to death. They looked like really bad when I finally got rid of them. And when I got rid of them, I was like, should I keep them, should I not? But I, I couldn't wear them anywhere because they looked really ratty. They were just like really worn and the leather was peeling, the, the leather, the faux leather was peeling off and they just were falling apart. So I got rid of those and I wanted to buy a pair of like buckle boots, but everything was just like so expensive. It was like $90. And I couldn't find the pa a pair that I really like loved and I kind of like put on the back burner and then I was like, I really loved those boots. I was thinking about it. I was like, those were so great. I wore them with so much, so many things. So I picked up a pair. I paid $25 plus shipping. So it was about $30 for these. They look like they had never been worn. I've worn them already. So they, but before that, it looked like they had never been worn. When they came in, they came a little tight. So I've just been kind of like doing the hair dryer trick and wearing them for as long as I can and really breaking them in. And they're breaking in really nicely. I did the hair dryer trick and they already felt looser. And so I wore them, I've worn them a few times uh, around and they're getting looser and looser and more like molded to my foot. So really, really happy with these from ASOS slash Poshmark. The last pair of shoes I'm gonna show you guys is probably my favorite pair, um, both because it's something I've been looking for for a while, but also just like the, the style and the quality. <clears throat> I won't hold off any longer. It's these loafers from And Other Stories. Quick story time. I found these at Green Street Consignment Shop and I was like roaming around the store. I had like a couple things in my hand and I saw these in the men's section actually and I looked at them and I was like, I know this is like a menswear style shoe, but this this looks like a woman's shoe. And then I looked underneath and it was my size and I was like, honestly, men's, women's, I want to try these on. And I knew if it was like a, um, it's a size 40 and I'm pretty sure European sizes are unisex. Correct me if I'm wrong. If not, a 40 is generally like a 10, but I've heard from a lot of people that 
and other story shoes are a little bit weird in the sizing so I wanted to try them on they're so beautiful I was like if they're too big fine I'll put them back but they fit perfectly it's this beautiful like burgundy color with the gold hardware and like the mock croc these are real leather and it looks like they've never been worn um, and they were $58 but I had a credit and it was for $59 <laughs> So I didn't actually spend any real money on these, which is exciting. I have like a dollar left, which is cool too, but I'm obsessed with these. They're so pretty. I'm actually like, I don't want to wear them because I don't want something to happen where they get ruined, but I just feel like they're such nice quality. They feel so expensive and they're just like such a statement shoe. This is probably one of the, like my favorite finds from the thrift store in a really long time. And they're just, uh, I could gush about these all day long. So pretty. Expensive, but honestly, totally worth it. Okay, so before I get into the clothes, I just want to remind you guys, I style each and every piece that will be shown in this haul so make sure you stay to the end to see me style all those pieces up and now I'm going to show you the first clothing piece that I got which is this really beautiful emerald -y, emerald no this is like a oh yeah this is like emerald like jewel tone dark hunter green blazer it's wool uh it's from Leslie Fay Petite I believe this was $5 because I think it was originally $9.99 and then it was 50% off day so I think I got it for five. Just realized there's a hole in it so that's cool. It's right at the bottom of the cuff so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, I just really love it. It's like a like long boxy shape. It has these really big shoulder pads which I might take out just because they're just like kind of aggressive and my shoulders are broad enough. I usually just take shoulder pads out and let my shoulders do the talking. <laughs> but I'm really obsessed with this color and I can't wait to wear this and like the deep winter. The next piece is this, it's actually a two piece. So this is a midi skirt with these really cute slits and then a little like t-shirt with a button back detail here. And I am obsessed with this. I got this on Poshmark. I paid, this was $11 plus shipping. And so I paid about $17. And I just feel like you can't go wrong with a beautiful black and white print. I love dots, I love florals. I styled this three ways in the cutaways, the top with a different bottom, the bottom with a different top, and then the set together, just so you can see how many ways you can style a beautiful set like this. I just think this is so like, and it's so like, I don't know, it's light, but it's like heavy. <laughs> It's light, but it's heavy. I feel like this is a very nice transitional material. It's light enough for the summer, but also wouldn't mind throwing a sweater over the skirt or a jacket over this tee. And I feel like it's just a very multifunctional set here. So if you're at the thrift store, definitely make sure you look for a set because they're so handy. <laughs> Next piece is a Lauren Ralph Lauren midi skirt. Uh, it's got these really pretty pleats all down it. I think it's navy. It looks navy to me. So I really, really love this. It's a little tiny bit big for me, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. In the cutaway, I styled it with a sweater and I think it came out really pretty because I am not, I am able to breathe, uh, which is nice. So I just love this skirt. I got this at my unique thrift. I think I picked it up for like $12. They usually like mark up the Lauren Ralph Lauren stuff and this was just such a statement skirt. I think it's so beautiful. It's like a true like ankle length midi skirt. I guess that's like more maxi, but I just, and there's just like so much volume and I just think it's so beautiful. I could not pass it up. The next piece is from Crossroads. It's this really pretty French Connection um, shirt dress. Uh, it was in the blouse section, but honestly, I feel like it's definitely a shirt dress. I mean, I could wear it as a blouse or a dress because I just feel like the length is okay, but I really love this olive color and I think I get a lot of use out of my black and white dotted shirt dress that's a similar silhouette to this, so I think I'll get a lot of use out of this as well, whether it be wearing it by itself or layered underneath sweaters or layered over jeans. That's a, I like to style shirts like this in a lot of different ways. And I just loved this specific one also because the top of the placket is co uh, covered buttons and the bottom is open. So I just think that's a really cute, interesting detail. And there's just like cute seams everywhere and it's just nice and lightweight and very easy little shirt dress. And 
then I believe this was probably $15. Okay, so the next piece is from My Unique Thrift, and it's this really pretty, like, greeny teal blouse. It's got this really cool placket detail. It's like an overlay, and then it comes underneath, so it kind of sandwiches this interior placket, so you have a little, like, it looks, it just, like, drapes underneath and it looks like it's like kind of overlapped. I don't know. I think it's a really cool detail. It's from the brand Lauren Lee and it just looks very like vintage to me and then it has like a little bit of pleating on the sleeve and I just think this is a really cute like easy work top to kind of like tuck in and give yourself like a little bit more of an interesting blouse and I love this color uh, personally with my brown hair. I think it looks really nice together and I think this top was around seven dollars. The last piece that I got from Crossroads was this dress from Zara. And it's just like one of those like tiered, so it's all smocked at the bodice and then it's like a regular sheer sleeve and then it's got these really pretty tiers and it's a maxi length. And this color just like took me. I saw this and I was like, summer's over Lauren. You don't need to buy this for fall, but I wore it on a warmer day. So it ended up being like 80 degrees the week after I bought this and I wore it and it's just so nice. It's flowy, it's relaxed, it's dressy and I just, I, I really am super happy with this one. Uh, this was another one that was like $15 but honestly, oh, it's just so pretty. That's the real problem with Zara is like, yeah, they're fast fashion and, you know, they're really bad for the environment. They make just such pretty things. Such pretty things. And it's just, like, not fair, you know? I would have bought this if it was from, you know, a higher-end brand or, you know, just, it's just so pretty. This is really nice, pretty floral detail. How many times can I say pretty in this video? Next piece is from My Unique Thrift. And it was this pair of leather pants. And I already have a pair of faux leather high-waisted pants that I got from American Eagle, and I actually recently got tailored. But those are like a skinny high waist, and these are more of a trouser fit, and that's what got me. And even like, so in the store, they didn't have a button, I just added this button. It's just like a plain black button that I found. But I had tried them on, and I was like, Ugh. I need them. I need them. They're so are the most, I've tried on a lot of pairs of leather pants. In fact, my, this thrift store, my unique thrift that I go to, they always have like a lot of leather pants for some reason, but it's always like these really, really skinny pairs. Like I tried on a pair last time I was there and before I bought these and I was like on the fence because they fit me like perfectly, but like, perfectly where I don't think I could bend my legs or sit down like that perfectly and I, they fit my waist and I was like oh, should I just buy these I'm never gonna be able to find like a real pair of leather pants that fit me this well and then I found these and I was like I'm so glad I didn't buy those other pants because these fit me like a glove and they're like a nice loose trouser leg it makes them more, look more casual and that's what I like about them oh and these were from the brand Maglia and they were made in the USA, so I, I think they're definitely vintage. And I think I paid $12 for these because like I said, the button was missing. So I think that's why they weren't as expensive as other leather items because there's plenty of leather stuff in my thrift store that goes for like 20 or $30. But I think because this was missing a button and there's like a tiny little spot on one of the legs that looks like it's a little tiny bit damaged, but you can't really tell. So I think that's why they were marked down a little bit. So I'm happy that they didn't come with a button because that's an easy fix. Next is another pair of pants and it's these beauties. They are a little bit too big for me. I didn't even look at the tag, I don't think. And I didn't have a chance to try them on in the store. So they're from the brand Alfred Donner and they're size 16. So I made them work in the cutaway and I want you guys to tell me honestly if you think I should keep them or not because they're just like a hint too big like I belted them with a t-shirt but I think maybe with a sweater it might be a little bit easier I, I'm, I'm leaning towards selling these they're just so pretty uh, the color just like took me 
and I feel like I paid like like five dollars for these or something. So. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys my sweaters. So the first sweater that I picked up was from My Unique Thrift. Actually, the rest of the sweaters were all from My Unique Thrift. And this is from the brand Requirements. It's in a size medium, and it is, oh, 100% acrylic. Not like the best material, but look at this color. It's like a nice pistachio. If you've seen any trend video, I feel like, and also the Who, What, Where, Fall Trends article, they call it pistachio, and honestly, this is a really nice color for me personally, so I jumped on it. It's this really nice mock neck. It's pretty soft not too like dry and it's just like nice and lightweight for like these random fall days where it's cold in the morning and then cold in my office and then not that cold when I get home so I just kind of wear this this is like a good sweater weather sweater and you don't wear a jacket with it and you're comfortable but you're not like dying of sweat dying of sweat dying of heat and sweating uh, so this is a great sweater. I've already worn this and I got a compliment on the color. So I'm happy <laughs> All right next is This cream sweater. This is from the brand Jean-Pierre and I actually have another sweater from him Which I bought in my I had in my last thrift haul. So if you want to see that sweater Make sure you check that out. I'll link down below and it's also a turtleneck, but it's yellow and I really like this. It's super cottony. If this is 100% cotton, I'll be shocked. It is 100% cotton and it's just like a nice easy sweater. It's not like so oversized, which is nice. It kind of fits me a little boxy. In the transitional period, I feel like when it's a, a sweater is a little more cottony, it feels like maybe a little lighter, not so like heavy and thick. Like I'll definitely wear this on like a day that it's like a little bit chilly, but I don't feel like I need my whole body to be covered in warmth, if that makes sense. Like a little cold, but not like I'm freezing. So, and I'm always a little bit cold, so that'll be nice. And it's just got this nice full turtleneck, which is exciting, uh, and a nice cream color, which will go with a lot of like the beiges and the greens that I have in my wardrobe. Last but not least is a sweater I found in the men's section. And it's actually from the brand Uniqlo. It's a size large and, oh, and that uh, white sweater was like, like two dollars or something. It was 50% off day, so it was originally like five, so I think it was like 250. So this is much softer than that other one, and it's more oversized, and it's just like this beautiful oatmeal color. I really, really love the stitch on it. So I'm, and I think I'm gonna wear it just like over jeans, like rolled up a little bit, like just like slouchy, oversized those days when I just don't, I just wanna be comfy. And I feel like this, this like stitch will make it feel a little more professional and less like I'm trying to wear pajamas to work. Okay, now that we went through the thrifted, the thrifted stuff, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought um, from real stores. Real stores? I don't know, like retail stores uh, this month as well. So for the first piece that I bought in retail stores, I have this sweater from Uniqlo. It's like a very fine rib, um, cotton, kind of spandexy, stretchy turtleneck, and it's just like super easy and just like a nice lightweight layer. It has this cute little turtleneck, and it's kind of a little more boxy, and I got it at a medium, and it was like $20. And I really, really like it. I think it's really like soft and nice. It actually might have been 15 even. I can't remember. Maybe 12? Just lowering the price by the minute. So the next thing that I got from Uniqlo is this long sleeve mock neck and the material is just like very cottony again and let's see cotton polyester Oh no, I'm sorry. It is 100% cotton and the rib is cotton polyester. So that the, the only reason they do that is so that when you stretch it out it goes back uh, and has a little more retention. So the reason why I picked this up is because I wanted like a like a knit top that I could wear to work but didn't feel casual. So I picked this up, this is a little bit casual, but uh, I really, really liked this like knitted ribbed trim on the neck and on the sleeves, but it doesn't have it on the bottom, which I really love. I feel like I can just like tuck it in and it won't like hold. Sometimes when you have the rib on the bottom, it holds and it sometimes just doesn't look that great on me. So I try to avoid it at all costs. And so when I saw this, I was really, really excited and I'm really into this like caramelly brown color, which I realized when I was doing the cutaways that I don't know what to wear with it other than jeans. So I tried it with a pair of green trousers. Let me know what you think of that in the comments below because <laughs> I'm curious, but definitely jeans and black, sure. 
So really, really loving this. This was, one of these was 12 and one of these was 15 or like 17, I don't know. I, I'll i link everything. You guys can figure out what the prices are. <laughs> Next, I have this dress that I picked up from Target. In September, I tried to only buy secondhand items and I saw this at Target during that time and I was like, well, I need to go back and buy this because it's so cute. I got this in a size large, which is like bigger than I'd usually go, but it's Wild Fable and and I don't know, I just wanted this to be like super flowy and and that's what it is. And I just love this color combination, these little ditzy florals. It's just so pretty. And yeah, it's a dress and it's quite a mini dress, but I just felt like the colors would lend themselves to wearing in the fall, um, transitioning from summer to fall, and then eventually from winter to spring. And I think this would look really pretty with tights and like a cute jacket over it. I don't know, there's something about this that I really just absolutely love and I'm definitely gonna wear either right before it gets cold or as soon as it gets warm again. <laughs> oh, and this was... $25. Next, I have a t-shirt for, this is from Lucky Brand. Uh, I got it at Macy's and it's size medium. And we all know why I bought this t-shirt. It has these beautiful embroidered flowers all over them. This flower specifically is what caught my eye. This like blue green on the gray is so freaking pretty. And it's on the front and the back. And it was only $20. I really, really love how it looks. I think it's just like a girly take on an easy tee. I love wearing this when I just want to wear jeans and t-shirt and I want it to look special. Also, this is a really great piece to mix back to other prints because it's not quite a print, but it kind of gives that same effect. So I really, really love this and it's a nice soft tee. You can't, you can't hate on that. So I haven't tried washing this yet, uh, but I'll let you guys know how that goes. I think I'm going to wash it inside out and I'm not going to dry it. See how that goes. I'll let you know. Okay, the final piece is another one of my really like top favorites, and it's this blazer from the brand One State, and this is the most expensive thing that I bought this month, and it is this beautiful like puff sleeve, oh look at that sleeve, blazer from One State. It was originally $139, and I got it for $75. Actually, I feel like it was a little bit less than that because I had a coupon. So I think it was maybe in the $765 range. And I just really, really love it. It has these like power shoulders that just make me feel like an independent woman who don't need no man. And I, I just don't have anything like this. And it's a nice classic color. So even though it has these like beautiful like architectural shoulders, I think having it in a nice neutral color that goes back to everything that I own will lend itself well to my wardrobe.
everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up uh, so you let me know that you like this sort of video and you want to see more like it from me. And if you want to see more videos from me, I put out new videos every Sunday, so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.